What's up guys, I'm MD Shady and today I'm going to be showing off my entire Funko and Collectibles haul for July 2023. And at the end of the video there is a package that I have to open so stay tuned for that. So let's check it out. So like I said in today's video we are going to be showing off all the different Funko products and collectibles that I've got in the month of July 2023. So let's go right ahead and get into some of the collectibles before I get into actual Funko products. So probably the first thing that I've bought in July is this Matt Riddle WWE Elite figure. Let's see if it wants to focus. That looks pretty good. And if you can see on the shirt there, it does say, hey Randy, and that's awesome. He comes with the scooter. The wheels do kind of move. He has his uh, sandals that actually do come off, but I'll just leave them on there for now. Also, the hat that comes off, his shirt is obviously removable as well. And it comes with like the like bro hands as well as the like grabber hands. And then it also came with a set of like the Randy Orton pose hand so this figure is pretty sweet and then the next item that I picked up is also a WWE wrestling action figure but this one is a little bit more special basically the story behind this figure is that it is from Mattel creation so what that means is that you have to like pre-order this figure I guess and they're only made to order so they're not gonna hit up stores but basically yeah it let's say if a thousand people order this figure then there's only a thousand made did I order it with the pre-order no, because I'm pretty stupid. Realistically, I just didn't know about it. The like order form for it was already long gone since I've got back into it. So I did miss out on this figure and I had to resort to eBay, which isn't one of my favorite things. And that figure that I'm talking about is the Ultimate Edition Logan Paul. And let me tell you, this thing looks great. So I'll do a basic rundown of this figure right now. Uh, essentially, you have what you're seeing here with Logan Paul. I do have the tongue out face on him right now. There is also two other head scans that it comes with. There's one where basically uh, he has more of a straight face or maybe like a bit of a smile. And then there's one where his mouth is just wide open like he's yelling or screaming. Yeah, that's awesome. And then he has, if you can see, he has these jacket arms, but there is also the like bare arms for when he takes off his jacket. And when you take those arms off, of course, the jacket is very easily removable. And also you can see there he has his necklace with the Pokemon card. If you can see under there, it does say Paul under his hair on the headband. It also says Paul behind the hood. Unfortunately, the hood is not removable. It is sculpted onto the jacket piece itself. And then on his trunks there, it does say Paul. This figure is great. The Ultimate Edition figures I love because they have that like ab crunch torso. They have like the butterfly arms, the legs are super great and they do this like weird pull down thing if you can see that going on there. Don't know how I feel about that, but these are super poseable. And now moving on to the Funko products that I bought in July, starting off with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Bugs Bunny as Fred Flintstone from the Warner Bros 100 set. This is a pretty cool pop and it's so good that I actually picked up two. Realistically, no, I did not pick up two for myself. Uh, I found one at GameStop and I was like, okay, I found one at retail. I'm going to buy and add it to my Looney Tunes collection. And then a couple days later, I found another one and I texted an old coworker of mine, asked him, hey, do you still need this pop? Because a couple days before that, he did say, hey, keep a lookout for this pop. And he said, yes, he did need it. So I bought a second one and I will be giving that to him, uh, basically just for the cost that I bought for the pop. But anyways, here's a closer look at the Bugs Bunny as Fred Flintstone. This is pretty cool. It does feel a little early considering we did just get the Looney Tunes characters as the mystery gang, but at the same time, this is really cool. And I mean, Warner Brothers is only going to have a 100 year anniversary one time, so they might as well get as many products out as they can, especially when it's a cool mashup such as this. And then the second pop that I got is also from San Diego Comic Con, but I didn't actually buy this myself. DK had gone to our local GameStop the day that pops were supposed to show up from San Diego Comic Con, and he picked me up the Stranger Things 001 or Henry Creel. This is awesome. Uh, this pop is really cool for what it is. There's not a ton of detail with it, but I feel like it's not needed because this character didn't really have a ton of detail. I love the side of the box there. That looks really cool with his white attire. And then the background, we have that set of Stranger Things pops, which I actually have that entire set now. So that's really awesome. Then we have the side of the box there. You can kind of see his handout where he's using his powers. 
And of course, a closer look at that San Diego Comic-Con slash Summer Convention sticker. So now I have two pops from Summer Con slash San Diego Comic-Con in my collection for this year, which is always great. So after recording the June haul video, we realized that we actually forgot one soda, and that is the Hawkman soda from WinterCon from last year. Yeah, from last year. And we received this at Niagara Falls Comic Con from the mystery soda thing that K Dog and Fish were doing, where basically you paid to basically stick your hand in this box and pull out a soda and then find out if it is a chase or a common. And they were all sealed. So I went ahead and I opened up a Hawkman, which is really cool. It's awesome to get a con soda, especially when they are just like a mystery and it's a lot cheaper to do that way. But unfortunately, it was just the common. But nonetheless, this is an awesome looking soda with a ton of detail on it. And I mean, you can't really complain. It was a lot of fun to do as well. There is the Pog showing the art style of Hawkman there. And then on the back, Hawkman limited to one out of 10,800 pieces. And speaking of K-Dog and Fish, we got a package from them. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. There should be a total of six pops in here. Basically it's three pops and three pops. I bought three pops for myself and I bought three pops for DK. We pre-ordered these and it was very fast actually that they got them in stock and then shipped over to us. So let's go ahead and open up this box. I got my trusty knife, which I feel like I have to switch out the blade pretty soon because it's feeling pretty dull here. And let's see what we got in here, of course. Always good protection. We got a ton of paper in here and oh yeah, I completely forgot about this. So DK had won a Thursday giveaway from K-Dog and Fish. So they did go ahead and add that to this box because why would they have to ship out two different packages when we were getting an order from them anyway. So let's go ahead and open this guy up out of the bubble wrap and show off exactly what he won in the Thursday giveaway. And here it is. It is the Wondrous Convention 2023 exclusive Hedwick with letter. This is pretty cool and awesome pop to receive in a giveaway because it is a con pop. And honestly, it looks pretty sweet with the letter in the mouth like that. Going on to the side, love the art style with the background there. And then the back showing off the rest of the set, which we have Harry Potter, we have Hermione, Dobby, as well as uh, Gildroy Lockhart. So that's pretty sweet there with that background. And yeah, I mean, like I said, getting this for free, winning it from the giveaway is always awesome. We've definitely won a few different pops out of the Thursday giveaways now. So yeah, this is definitely an awesome one. Not sure what DK exactly is going to do with this pop, if he's going to add it to his collection or maybe give it away or try to sell it at a toy show in the near future. I guess we'll find out. All right, so now opening up the first pop that we received from the actual order that I placed. Oh, it's awesome to finally have these in hand and they're looking minty fresh so far. The first pop that we have is, if it wants to focus, there we go. Julian from the Trailer Park Boys and wow, does that ever look great. It looks just like Julian. He has drink in hand, of course, the jeans as well as his classic black shirt. Oh, so cool that we finally have Trailer Park Boys pops. I hope that we get more but so far what we've seen is great. There's the side of the box. What does the art style look like? Not really a ton going on there. I guess there is like kind of a bit of like the trailer park faintly in the background and then you have like the gray splatter. And then on the back of the box, it does show off the other two pops that are in this set with Bubbles as well as Ricky. And then we have the side of the box there and then back to the front. Let's see, is there a quote? There is a quote on the box. Let's see what it says. Okay, this makes sense for Julian. Christmas to me is about one thing, money. Of course it is with Julian, so that is awesome. So yeah, we have Julian, so let's see what the next two pops are. I'm sure you guys can guess, but I think we're gonna have to show them off. Getting right into it, the next pop that we have is of course also from the Trailer Park Boys lineup, and that is of Bubbles. Let's take a look at this pop. Oh, I wanna see it with my own eyes. Oh yeah, it looks great. He even has one of his little kitties down there. So that's wicked. The glasses, the huge eyes on here. I didn't think originally when we saw the glam shots for these that the eyes were big enough, but now seeing them in person, 
yeah, I think those eyes are big enough. They look perfect for bubbles. Again, there's the side of the box where there's not a ton going on. The background with, of course, you can see some of the trailer park there and then the side of the box and back to the front. This is wicked. So let's go ahead and check out what the quote is on this one. Decent. And then can you guys guess what the last pop is? I bet you can. It is Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys. I was super excited for this and oh, it looks good, man. I've seen some customs over the years and I think this one beats the customs, which you can't really say a lot of the times because a lot of custom artists are so good at what they do. But here we have the official Ricky. Oh, it looks so good. And wow, that's great. I didn't know if it was going to be like this, but if you can see there, his shirt is actually the houndstooth uh, like print on there. It's not just like checkered, kind of like we've seen with the glam shot. Really excited that it actually is the houndstooth. That makes so much sense. Of course, he's got a dart in his mouth and uh, looks like he has a blaster in his hand and of course a gold watch on with his hand in his pocket. So let's go ahead and check out what his quote is because there could be so many different ones. Uh, I hope they pick a really good one because uh, Rickyisms are amazing from Trailer Park Boys. Worst case, Ontario, that is perfect. Uh, and I'm even wearing a Hits FM shirt where it does say uh, Southern Ontario on it. So that is very, very fitting. I think that all three of these quotes were very, very great for these pops. Super excited to have these. And like I said, uh, I really hope that Funko decides to put out more characters. Of course, we want to see Randy, Mr. Leahy, J-Rock. We want to see a bunch of different characters, Corey and Trevor. There's so many to do, so I don't see why they wouldn't, especially, I'm thinking these are probably gonna sell very, very well. Yeah, these look so cool all together. Don't know where I'm gonna display them in my collection, but they gotta go somewhere cool where uh, everyone's gonna notice them as soon as they come into the pop room. And like I said, I did order a set for DK as well, but I'm gonna keep them in the bubble wrap so that he can basically have these a little bit more safe on his ride home and they're not gonna bang around in the box too much or anything like that. So when he gets home, they will be still minty fresh from K-Dog and Fish. So it looks like that's all the time I have for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace in, peace out.